We open the second half with the Bobcats leading the Red Raiders 10-9. The third quarter begins with Texas State on offense. Quarterback Sean Rutherford goes right to work with his longest run of the night, an 18-yard gain to the Bobcat 33-yard line. Later in the drive, Rutherford delivers a strike to sophomore tight end David Lewis. His second career catch is good for nine yards. Coach Franchoni goes deep into the playbook on this first down play. Marcus Curry takes the handoff and flips the ball to receiver Darius Bolden on the end around. The Bobcat senior gets to the outside and is finally forced out by DJ Johnson after a gain of 21. The junior college transfer Rutherford continues to show he can play on the big stage, slicing through the Texas Tech defense for 11 more yards. After a Darren Moore touchdown gives Texas Tech his first lead of the game, the Bombcats look to respond and Tim Hawkins is able to pick up 12 yards, followed by 12 more from Rutherford who led the Bobcats with 82 yards on the ground in his debut. Eric Stevens led Texas Tech with 118 yards on Saturday, but it didn't come easy thanks to plays like this from Ron Jackson. Now in the fourth quarter and the Red Raiders are beginning to pull away, but the Bobcats refuse to go down quietly, hitting Seth Daigie again on the second down play. Tyler Arm played the entire fourth quarter at quarterback for the Bobcats and made a couple of nice throws, including this 14-yard bullet to Isaiah Battle. On the Bobcats' final drive of the game, Terrence Franks barrels ahead for nine yards, capping off a 256-yard night for the Bobcat ground game. But it was just too much Texas Tech in the second half as the Red Raiders hand Texas State its second straight season opening loss. Your final score from Jones AT&T Stadium in Lubbock, Texas Tech 50, Texas State 10.